blood from the sow, which is any female pig who has already had at least one litter of piglets. I will also explain the four common areas that pigs are bled and what weight you should use each method. Before you begin bleeding, it is helpful to have all your materials you need in close reach. So, I will list off the necessary materials for this procedure. The first thing you will need is needles. There are various sizes you can use depending on the size and the stage of life of the, of the pig you are using. The sizes for the needles are 20 gauge, 16 gauge, and 18 gauge. Depending on the area you are, that you are going to draw blood from, you will need surg a surgical blade and a handle. The next tool you will need is syringes. These can be 2 milliliters, 10 milliliters, and 30 milliliters. Next is a vacuum chamber, which is just a sterile glass or plastic tube with a closure that is with a closure that is evacu evacuated to create a vacuum or suction inside the tube. This is typically between seven and ten milliliters. Here, I have a vacuum chamber, just for example. You will need to put you will need two or more people to do this procedure just to make it easier. The next tool is a snare. This is a snare. You will need a snare, which is I cook safe when dealing with this. This is so while well. one person is drawing the blood sample, the other person can be help can be helping by holding the pig with the snare. The snare is just a wire loop that goes around the nose and the mouth of the pig, but is not tight enough where it would hurt the pig for this group to restrain for safety purposes. The last item you will need is earmuffs. That is just for your safety of your ears. There are four common places where it's safe to get blood from a pig. In this video, I will explain each, as well as show you on the cell where these areas are located. The first area is the ear vein. For this, you should use a 20 gauge needle and a syringe. Typically, blood is drawn from the ear of a sow, a gilt, and a boar. The veins are typically raised by pressure at the base of the ear, so you will clean the skin with alcohol and a wool pad, and you will use a, sy you will use a syringe and a 20 gauge needle, and then store the blood in a vacuum container too. She's very sensitive to her ears, but they're right, look in your right, the right, face right here, and you can see them right there. The next area that can be blood is in the tail vessels. You should use a syringe or a vacuum chainer with a 20 gauge needle. This blood vessel lies close to the surface of the skin. This method requires practice or help from your local veterinarian. I can't really explain it on this pig due to that she has no tail. But <laughs> in a normal pig, it would be located on the bottom of the tail, but you should ask your local veterinarian exactly where it would be the right area to bleed from. The third area is the jugular vein. This method could be used on pigs weighing from 40 to 200 kilograms. You should use someone to restrain the pig with a snare. The jugular vein lies 25 to 40 millimeters below the skin. You must raise the pig's head to reveal the, group, the jugular groove and insert the needle 120 millimeters above the point of the shoulder. You would use a snare for this. You would lift the head, and it is located right underneath here. The last area is the anterior vena cava. This is usually used on piglets, but it can be used on sows. It is just a little harder. The anterior, to use this, the legs will be pinned backwards, and the chin will be pinned downwards. And it is between the first rib and the breastbone. And you would do it just like you would do the jugular groove, only the pig is upside down. The needle sizes will vary on weight of the, for the anterior vena cava method. Between 10 and 45 kilograms, you would use a 20 gauge needle. Between 45 and 100 kilograms, you would use an 18 gauge needle. And for sows, you would use a 16 gauge needle. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that it has enlightened you on the pig industry and helped clarify any questions that may be had. Thank you.